In this video and video series, we're going to be going over how you can start up a price comparison affiliate website with no previous experience. These websites generate affiliate revenue through the price comparison model, and they are extremely easy to get started. These websites can be sold as starter affiliate websites, or with revenue, they can be sold for 20, 30, 40, even 50 times monthly revenue. We can have a website that looks like this in under 10 minutes. On each one of the product pages that are built completely by using automations, we see that we've got a number of different images for the user. We've got an affiliate link out to Amazon. We've got a video, if there is a video that exists, robust product descriptions. We've got a price comparison from all the top online sellers. Anytime that someone clicks on the Amazon widget or on one of these links, if there is an affiliate program in existence, you will earn revenue from that affiliate program. We've got a price history for the product, price notifications, in-depth descriptions, a whole host of attributes, and then additional videos. The user also has the ability to provide a review. One of the other great features about these affiliate websites is the automatic blogging platform. Anytime that you go out to Google and search something like best sleeping bags, almost all of the top page results are top 10 type articles. So. 10 best backpacking sleeping bags of 2023. Our platform automatically creates these blog articles for you. So for this article, it is our top picks for the 20 highest quality camping products for less than $500 in 2023. And all of this content is generated using an AI algorithm. And so we've got very well written content for this blog post, as well as our top 10 list. Each one of the items in the top 10 list has the title, the reviews, a video if it exists and a description of that particular item and what these blog posts are designed to do is generate organic traffic where people will then click into the product page of that specific item and if they click on the Amazon widget or any of the price comparison links you will generate affiliate revenue as you will see when we go through these videos and this video series these websites are extremely easy to create we can create a website that looks like this in less than 10 minutes and the additional configurations will also go through like submitting the website to Google so that you can start generating organic traffic and affiliate revenue. We are glad that you are here and interested in creating an affiliate website through Price or Site. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to need to do to get started is to go to pricersite.com and click on create a site. We are going to be creating an account and a website at the same time. We're going to enter a username and an email address, verify the CAPTCHA. We are going to select that we want a website. And now what we're going to do is to decide on a subdirectory. We are able to map our custom domain name to this website, so like mysite.com, but we're going to start out with a subdirectory that's just going to be pricersite.com forward slash, we'll do camping gear. And give the site a title. The website we are creating is going to be called Priced Camping. We want to allow the search engines to index this website, and we're going to go ahead and select the affiliate website template, and then we're going to click sign up. And now we've come to the confirmation page, which states that email has been sent to us. If for whatever reason you did not receive the email, check your spam folder. It is showing that our website has been created. We can click on this and use the username and password provided in the email. And now we've got our brand new website complete with a homepage, a shop page, which we don't have any products in right now, blog, cart, contact us. The entire website has been built and now we're ready to import the products. Now let's take a look at some of the settings for importing products and the way that the products are shown on the actual product pages. The first option that we have here is the API key. You're going to need an API key to be able to import products. You can do that by just clicking on this link right here. Your Amazon Associate ID and Amazon Link ID. The main thing that you're going to want is your Amazon Associate ID. Amazon Associates is free to participate if you don't already have an account. Once you've logged into your account, you can hover over product linking and click native shopping ads. And you'll be brought to this screen right here. And we want to create a search ad. And what we'll do is just 
enter a search term here. And now we've got our ad code right here. And you will find your Amazon tracking ID right here. And then you'll find your Amazon link ID right here. And you can just copy and paste and provide those in the fields. The YouTube API key is going to be so you can import videos if they exist of the products. You can get a free API key and you'll click on this link right here to a help article that will show you how to get that API key. For the auto price comparison option, that is going to be whether or not you want to automatically import the price comparisons of all the top online sellers. The next option is price comparison results. These are going to be the similar options. Price comparison tables that are not highlighted in green. The next option is to use an on-site cart. People use these websites for a few different purposes, one of which is to actually sell through the website. And then <clears throat> this is used as a dropship model where the individual will order the product from the lowest price seller or Amazon, ship it directly to the customer, and then take a margin. If that is how you're wanting to use this website, then you're going to want to use an on-site cart. Use external images. We recommend doing that. Update variations. If you're just using this as an affiliate website, there is no need to import the variations. But if you're actually selling through the website, then you will want to. Auto YouTube videos, this just automatically downloads the YouTube videos for the product pages if they exist. Maximum number of YouTube videos to show, five. On the product page, we've got a featured video, and then if we scroll down, if there are additional videos available, it will be under this tab. And if you choose, say, five, it will have the featured video and then four additional videos here if they exist. Next option is to use single Amazon widget. We recommend that. High price. If you're using it as an affiliate website to stay within the terms of Amazon, you will want to hide the price. But the price is available on Amazon through the widget. Hide reviews. We have a unique review system that calculates a 1 through 10 score for the product based off of a lot of different reviews from across the web but you can hide that feature if you want to on the product page you will see it here next to the amazon widget and underneath the buttons next section is the data import options if we if we select yes to trim the title where there is a comma it will trim that title Amazon, other websites have a tendency to, other marketplaces have a tendency to create big long titles with as much description as possible. Uh, we recommend trimming it at the comma. Put the brand in title. If the brand's not already in the title, it will insert it there. That's good for search engine optimization. Update categories, yes. Update reviews, yes. And update the short description, yes. All of these configurations are already done within your website based off of what we recommend but you can change them and then the last section is to just assign the attributes these attributes will already be assigned it's just upc ean npn and the rest of them but those attributes come up on the product page under additional information so these are the basic settings for the affiliate product import they are already configured based off of our recommendations. And from the very start, just by creating the automations, you can create these type of affiliate product pages. Now we're going to cover my personal favorite part about building these affiliate websites, which is to start importing the affiliate products. And to do that, what we want to do is to go to our dashboard. And in our sidebar menu, we're going to want to scroll down to Affiliate Products. And we can see we currently don't have any products. But if we scroll down here to Import Automations, this is how we're going to import the affiliate products. And so we'll start out with Camping Tents. We'll do an import limit of 100 products. 
And then in the brand field, if we only want to import specific brands, we can put that here. We're not going to do that. We're going to create the automation. And now if we scroll down, we can see the automation and where it is at at any point in time. Uh, we will also do sleeping bag. And we'll do an import limit of 100 for that as well. And so we have both of our automations. The automations take about 10 to 20 minutes to complete, uh, but we will show you what the product pages look like after the automations are done. And this is all there is to it, to importing affiliate products. So now after about 20 minutes, we can see all of the different affiliate products that have been imported into this store. They have all been categorized. They have brands, colors, all the attributes available. And so if we click on one of these product pages, we can see some of the features and functionality of this page. We've got multiple different images of the product. We've got a title. We've got a short description. The Amazon widget, if someone clicks on the widget and makes a purchase, you earn affiliate revenue. We've got reviews, categories, tags. We've got a price comparison from all the top online sellers. Again, if they click on one of these links and make a purchase, you earn the affiliate revenue. We've got a price change notification. We've got the price history. We've got a full robust description, as well as additional information like the brand, part number, color, size, and Visitors can leave a review for this particular item, and then we've also got related products. So this is how easy it is to get your affiliate website up and running. So the next thing that we're going to do is change out this logo right here from the Pricer Site logo. And to do that, once we are in our dashboard, we're going to come down here to Header and click on the Header Builder. And this is going to be our header right here. And as you can see, there are uh, different widgets within this header. Uh, this top one right here is going to correspond with this uh, top bar right here. Got our social media links. And then we've also got other areas that we can put different widgets in, um, as well as putting them in uh, the header area that already has existing widgets. If you click here on the plus icon, you will see a number of different widgets that you can add to this header. Um, but we are going to change the logo and there is two different headers. There's one for desktop and then there's one for mobile. And so what we wanna do is we wanna click on the pencil and we're gonna click upload we have already uploaded the logo, so we are just going to select that, use this image, and we're going to click upload on this one as well. Use this image, and we are going to save that, and then we're going to come into the mobile header, and we are going to click the pencil icon and do the same thing. Click save. And while we're in here, we're also, we'll also mention that with this header, if you wanted to do things like change the color of the top bar, you can click on the pencil right here and you can make the top bar higher, lower, hide it on mobile. And then over here in the color section, uh, you can select that as well. We're going to save this and then we're going to save the header and if we come out here and click refresh we can see that our new logo has been implemented now what we would like to do is change the domain name as you remember we initially set up a subdirectory within pricersite.com and that's going to be pricersite.com forward slash camping and so now what we want to do is instead of having the domain name price price or site um, we are going to change it to pricedcamping.com that way you will have your own domain name and you will be able to submit it to google and bing and start generating organic traffic um, so 
What we need to do is click on this tab, Domain Mapping, and we've got some pretty simple instructions. Uh, it says, number one, create an A record for both www and non-dub version of your website that points to this IP address. We've already done that. Uh, within your domain register, we recommend using Google, uh, but within your domain register, uh, it's, it's basically the same process. The interface might look a little bit different, but it's the same process. And what you're going to do is come into the DNS settings and we are going to click on manage custom records. And we see that we've got our custom records right here for the non dub version. We just leave this blank and then the record type is a and point to this IP address. And then for the www version, uh, we insert that there and then point it to this IP address. Um, we're going to cancel that because we've already got these settings saved. So then we are going to come back over to our dashboard and we will click on submit domain right here. That is going to open up a new page where we can put our custom domain name and we um, we're Go ahead and put whichever domain name you want. So the example is www.yourdomain.com. So if you want the www version to be the primary domain name, go ahead and put that in here. Um, both the non-dubbed and dubbed versions will point to the same website, but this will be your primary domain name. And then we need your current URL, uh, what your website is currently uh, under. So pricersite.com forward slash camping would be for this field. And then you can go ahead and click submit. And usually that takes about 12 hours for uh, the changes to take effect and all the DNS records to be propagated. But once that is propagated, we can see that we have the pricedcamping.com as our URL instead of the pricer site. So now let's take a look at the blogging feature within these affiliate websites. So within the affiliate websites, we are going to be able to automatically publish blog posts. We use artificial intelligence to write the blog posts and then we also utilize the top 10 model it, as discussed previously if you go out to google and you search anything like best sleeping bags all the top results are going to be things like the nine best sleeping bags for 2023 the top 12 sleeping bags for cold weather things like that and so these blog posts are automatically written for you in the website. The other thing that should be mentioned and is very important is that to stay within the terms of service of Amazon, you're going to want to have some content like this on the website. It's usually recommended about eight blog posts, uh, but these will be automatically published for you. Um, <clears throat> so we are currently on the blog section of the website. If we come back over to the dashboard and we click on the posts navigation link, what we'll see in here is we've got one post that is published and we've got four drafts. The blog posts will not automatically be published. Uh, you will, they will generate themselves and they will be in the draft state until you come in here and you actually publish them. Um, to look at the blog post, you can click the edit link <clears throat> and you can go through the blog post um, and then uh, you can publish it on that page. Uh, you can also click the quick edit link right here and you can change the status from draft to publish. Um, but let's take a look at the article that we currently have. You can also write your own article if you would like to. If you would like to write your own article, you can do so. And you can do that by clicking on the add new link and you will be presented with the help screen that is going to show you about the block editor. But what the block editor allows you to do is include a wide range of different content like videos, text, and a number of different widgets. So we are going to create this post camping here. And then for to get to any of the elements, you're going to want to click the plus symbol right here. 
And then this will give you a number of different elements that you can include. So you can include custom code, quotes, and then for things like uh, headings, like your H2, H3, H4, you can use the headings. And then uh, to just include text, you can bring in this paragraph right here. And it's as easy as that. Uh, you can format the blocks over here. This is where you can see the details of the post. And then there's also a feature where it will suggest different affiliate links for the content in your post. If we scroll down here, we can see header options. You're probably just going to want to leave that alone. You can enable or disable certain things through the theme. And then up here in the upper right hand corner, you can click on this element right here. And that is going to allow you to edit the snippet and this is going to be the title tag and meta description for this particular post which is going to increase your rankings in organic search in this tab you can control how this particular post will look on facebook and twitter just know that the website has been pre-configured to take the title of the post and then dash the name of the website and then also to take the first content available and put that in the meta description. But if you customize these on your own and include keywords that you're trying to rank for for this particular post, it's definitely better than using the default. When you're ready to publish the post, just come up here and click publish or you can save it as a draft and you can put that blog post together. The other thing that we should mention is the categories. Um, so you can add different categories for the blog posts. You are going to need to categorize the post. And so to add categories, we're gonna click on the category submenu. And we've got a primary category here and we can edit this and we're going to name it all posts. And then we're going to want to change the slug that and then we'll add a new category uh, camping and we'll let it auto generate the slug parent category we're going to make that all posts add new category and now if we come back out to all posts we can do it on this screen by clicking quick edit and then we can select the categories that we want for that post Quick update or we can do it on the actual post edit screen so this is a really cool feature that will drive a lot of organic traffic to your website again you can create your own blog post with our platform or you can and or you can allow the uh, AI integration to create the blog posts in these top 20 posts. A new post will be generated once a day and you'll be able to edit and publish Okay, so now let's take a look at some of the other features of the website. We're here in our dashboard, and the first link that we'll see is the My Sites link, and you'll be presented with your current websites. Uh, you can also click here to add a new one, and you'll be able to go through the same process, only this time, obviously, you won't be registering. Um, you can just uh, pick your subdirectory, site title, and then select the affiliate web template. Next menu item that we see is Google. We're gonna be going over that here in a little bit. This is how we are going to submit our website to Google and integrate Google Analytics. The next tab is media. And this is where you will see all the media in your library. You will not see the images for all the individual products. We are using external images as to not bloat the database and the server and keep your website functioning as fast as possible. The comments section, that is where comments are going to appear that have been made on your blog posts. We covered the post tab. The next tab is menus and widgets. We will be taking a look at that here in a second as well. Uh, the users tab will show all the individuals who have registered to the website. Settings, we've got in here. And we've got the title, the tagline of the website, email address, and then the time formats. Uh, in the next tab down, we've got the affiliate links. We are going to be going over how to integrate the affiliate links for both Amazon and all the other affiliate programs on the planet. Um, for SEO, 
we've got our title tags and meta descriptions. Your website comes pre-configured with the title tags and meta descriptions. However, you can come in here and you can edit those. If I click on the products tab, I can change the default title tags and meta descriptions from the post. So right now we've got price comparison dash and then the title of the post. This is just for product pages and that's gonna be good for SEO because people searching uh, Kodiak sleeping bag price comparison, uh, the title tag will be good for those types of search queries. We've got a tab under here that is sitemap, sitemap settings, and we are gonna be covering that. This is what we are going to need to submit to Google. Got instant indexing, which will uh, submit any new post or new product pages to Google instantly. 404 monitor, this is just if people are hitting dead pages, you will get a report here uh, telling you what that is and implement a redirect for it. And then the redirections, you're probably not going to need these options very often. Next down, we've got a marketing tab, and this is where you can implement coupons. You're only going to need this option, obviously, if you are selling on the website. Uh, we've got a section here where you can create forms. Your website already comes integrated with a contact us page and contact form. But if you would like to create new forms for things like pop-ups or to put a form in your post, you can use these. It's very intuitive. Just click add new. You'll be provided with a help screen that shows you the different features of the form. You can uh, select a form template and then it's uh, just a drag and drop interface after that. And then once you are done and you have saved your form, you will be presented with a screen here for the form and you've got your short code if you want to put that in a post or in a pop-up. There's also analytics for the forms, how many times it have been submitted, and there's additional settings. Next, we've got the shop tab. And all of these different tabs you're not going to need unless you're actually selling through the website. But this is where you can manage orders, manage customers, uh, see analytics for the coupons. And then we've also got reports here that show things like analytics on product sales if you're actually selling through the website if you're just creating affiliate website that is not going to be necessary the next tab down has the products tab and this is where you're going to see all of the different products in your store you can view it view your products through this interface right here or we recommend utilizing the all products tab under affiliate products because that's going to be a much more consolidated dashboard that's going to give you a lot more information about the products, including the uh, status of all the different updates like the product data, product pricing, and YouTube videos, etc as well as an image over here to the side. Uh, you can click on uh, the link right here to see the product page or to actually see the edit page. Under the products tab, we have the ability to add a new product, uh, add categories, see the categories, update the categories, add tabs, the attributes, and also to see any reviews that have come in. Is an add custom code to your website. In the theme options, we also covered how you can add custom code um, with this feature, you can actually target different pages. So if you only want the code to run on product pages or you only want the code to run on actual shop pages, uh, you can implement that code there and select where you want to implement it. Um, we covered the affiliate products tab. We covered domain mapping. We've covered the theme options and we've covered the header. And then the final tab is going to be analytics. When we implement Google Analytics, that is where you're going to be able to see the most amount of information as far as what product pages are being visited, the keywords that are being used to uh, find your website in organic search. But this is an overview of the different features and functionality that come ready to go with your new website. So now we're going to take a look at how to implement the affiliate links. So earlier we talked about how to incorporate the Amazon affiliate program by including your associates ID in the affiliate settings. Now what we're going to take a look at is how to implement the affiliate links for all of the different sellers in the price comparison. So for each one, you're going to see a link box right here. And if the visitor clicks on that link and then makes a purchase on eBay, for example, what we want to do is we want to earn the affiliate commission off of those sales. 
Now, instead of going across the web and joining literally hundreds of different affiliate programs for eBay, all of the different ones, what we're able to do is use a service that dynamically looks for any links that are on the page. And if there is an affiliate program that exists, it will then substitute this link right here for the affiliate link and you will earn commissions on the sale. Now to do that, what we are going to want to do in our admin area is to hover over settings and then we want to click on affiliate links. We use a service called Skim Links to be able to do that. You are going to want to go to skimlinks.com and register a free account. Once you have created your free account on Skim Links during the registration process, you will be able to submit a website. That website that you have submitted will come up underneath the sites right here. And after your first website has been approved, then you will be able to add additional websites. Um, but what we're going to need is we're going to need this code right here. This is going to be our Skim Links Publisher ID. And what we're going to want to do is just put this in this field. Uh, we don't need any of the custom redirects. We do want to monetize our RSS feed and we do not want to implement that badge. So what we can do is we can settings and then once your website is approved, it will dynamically start offering up the affiliate links in the price comparison page down here. You can check to make sure that it is by right clicking and clicking copy link address. As we can see here, we've got the go.skimresources.com. So we know that the affiliate links are being served. And when we go to that URL, it redirects us to the actual product page. So that's all there is to, to implementing the affiliate links for any affiliate program that does exist and to start earning revenue. Uh, you can always come in here to your Skim Links dashboard and you can click on performance. They offer a wide range of different uh, analytics per site, per product. Um, it's really in-depth. So now what we're going to do is implement Google Analytics and then Google Search Console, which will allow us to submit the website to Google to start generating organic traffic. We are also going to submit the website to Bing Webmaster Tools. If you are in the back end of your dashboard and you click on the Google menu link, you will be taken to the initial screen for implementing Google Analytics. But the first thing that we're going to want to do is to create our Google Analytics account. You can do that by going to analytics.google.com and we can click on Start Measuring. And the new account name is going to be price or site for us, but you will want to label it whatever the uh, name of your primary website is. And we will subscribe to those updates and we're going to click next. And the first property that we are going to create is going to be the priced camping website. We're actually just going to do priced camping.com the URL of the domain we are on New York time currency US dollar and for the advanced options we also want to create a universal analytics account and we are just going to copy and paste our domain name in here out the HTTPS and the forward slash and we want to create both Google Analytics 4 and Universal Analytics property. You can click Next. I'm going to select the category of Shopping. Just check all these boxes. Click Create Bottom and we accept the Terms of Service. And so this is going to bring up the screen that verifies that our <coughs> web property has been set up and you can enable any of these email communications. You can go through their wizard 
and we're going to skip this step for right now. And for all the initial settings, we can leave them the same. So one of the things that we will want to do is we'll want to switch over to the Universal Analytics. Do that by clicking there, and then you've got price camping dot slash GA4, and then you've got the price camping dot com. Click on all website data, and then if you come over to the Demographics tab and click on Overview, you'll want to go ahead and enable the demographics. Now we can come back over to our website, and if we go to the Google tab, we're going to want to check this box to say we do want to set up Google Analytics as part of the setup process. And we'll go ahead and sign in with Google, and we're going to want to go ahead and enable all the management uh, for the six different services, and then we can click continue. And it is going to ask us to verify our analytics account with the HTML tag. You can just click next and turn on metrics in your dashboard. We'll go ahead and click allow. And next, we're also going to want to set up Search Console. So we're going to want to start. Uh, so we want to click on Start Now when we get to Google Search Console. And we're going to be setting up a domain. That domain is our PricedCamping.com. And we're just going to want the domain name.com. Click continue. And the ownership of our website has been verified through the setup of our analytics. So we can click on go to properties. And we can go through the wizard to see all of the different features. Um, but what we're going to want to do is come back over to our website. And we're going to click on Setup Search Console. And then we'll be brought to the next screen, which is Setup Google Analytics. We'll click Next. And we'll be brought back in to our account. And we want to click Pricer Site as the account. And then the property is going to be uh, Price Camping All Website Data. And then it will ask us to also connect the uh, GA4 account, which we can select right there, and then configure analytics. It says additional permissions required. We're going to click proceed, ask us to sign into our account, and we'll click continue. And now it shows that we have successfully set up Google Analytics. So now we see that we've got Search Console and Analytics. Search Console is showing the correct property. Analytics is showing the correct property. Now, if we come back over here to our Search Console account, we'll want to click Refresh. And then we'll want to come down here to Sitemaps. We don't currently have a sitemap submitted. The sitemap is going to be how Google crawls all of the pages on our website. So we're going to need to come back in here to our dashboard and hover over SEO. And we'll go to sitemap settings. And the URL we have right here is going to be for the pricersite.com subdirectory. So what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to copy this sitemap underscore index.xml. We can come back to our website right here and we can paste this onto the end. So we've got pricer site forward slash sitemap under dash underscore XML. That is going to bring up our XML sitemap that we want to submit to Google. Again, it's going to be your uh, custom URL.com forward slash sitemap underscore index dot XML. And so we can so we can come back over to search. All right, there we go. We have built out one of the quality affiliate websites online complete with automatic blog posts, some of the best products with truly incredible affiliate product pages, complete with images, videos, descriptions, and a price comparison from the top online sellers. We want to thank you for your interest in Pricer Site and look forward to seeing what you create.